And this video will be about the auction house. We're about to break down the auction house for my team. First and foremost, I want to say that I'm excited that the auction house is back, but there are some stipulations on the auction house that you might want to be afraid of. We might want to be very afraid. I'm going to tell you right now, if you don't want to play with this auction house and you do not want to buy MT, they will ban you. They will take your account. They will make sure that every dime that you've spent on your team and every moment that you've invested of your time into your team, they will snatch all that. If it looks like you, if it even looks like you are buying or selling MT, they will can you. They will put your animations in a can and hold them for the time being now and forever. I'm just trying to relate to you that they will make sure that you do not pass go. You do not collect $200. There is no way that if, I believe that even if it looks, if it looks like you're being fraudulent, if it even looks like you're being, that's why I am very afraid this year of this auction house. I feel like I would have rather had no auction house than have to be faced with standing under an umbrella that can be snatched from me at any moment and I'll be left out in the rain. I would rather have no auction house than to be subjected to the fear of my account being snatched if it looks like I'm buying or selling MT. So that means if I sell the wrong card on the auction house for too much MTP, they will review my account to see if my transactions are fraudulent or not. So they are cracking down on the my team auction house fraud. The problem is there were a bunch. There was a bunch of people making a bunch of money off of 2K's auction house and 2K did not like that. The original auction house turned into a wildfire of websites, backdoor websites selling my team points. If you are not in the know and you do not know anything about this, they were making a plethora of money. If you don't know what plethora means, look it up. Google is free. They were making so much MT that somebody got very rich. People were getting very rich and 2K didn't like that. 2K didn't like that. The system was you could take a bronze card. You could take one of the, the worst cards on the planet. You could take a, a, a gold card and you could sell it for a million MT. Now, the company that makes the MT, that farms the MT, they would have an, they have accounts where they just farm MT and they would be able to go buy that account. They would, go, they would go buy your card off the auction house, your gold card that you posted for a million dollars that nobody else would consider ever going to buy. They would go buy that card off the auction house for the price that you set it at. But you would have to buy the MT from them on their backdoor account. So their account would sell you the MT and then they would instruct you on what card to post for what price to post it for. They would go find that card. It's a very well thought out plan, a very serious business that was making very, very much money for someone or someone's. Now, 2K didn't like this. They cracked down on this and took away the auction house last year. So that's why we didn't have an auction house last year. They wanted to I guess take that year off from having an auction house to figure out how they would go about cracking down and making sure that they made as much money as they could off the auction house, which I don't really understand if it was really costing them that much money or would it have been better for them to make money off of the transactions that were happening? I don't know if it was just unfair from a gamer standpoint, but if that was the case, they would be cracking down on these people with these ends because leak, 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 leak. I'll leak some information right now. Zens are back. I've got word from my people that Zens are back in the game this year. They have made a script. I heard I hear that they're working on or have already perfected a script that will help these cheaters cheat without a meter. So the cheaters are cheating. The cheaters, the cheaters will cheat without a meter this year. And I, I mean, personally, I think the game is cooked, especially with the way that this new triple threat park is going to work in my team. So I'm going to be able to, well, not me. I don't, I don't cheat. I, I don't even find it fun to cheat at video games. Put on an aimbot and go aimbot in 2K. What is this? Call of Duty? We, we playing Black Ops 6? Anyway, that's beyond me. I don't, I'm not, I don't have fun cheating, but to, to think that somebody can pick Kevin Durant and dial in whatever jumper Kevin Durant has and go to the, the, my team, Triple Threat Park and just green for free in co-op is beyond me. 
Like, cause this park is gonna, we'll, we'll get into that when we hit the park video. This is the auction house video. But I mean, look, I just wanna let y'all know, don't count out the cheaters. The cheaters will find a way to cheat every year. They're gonna find a way to cheat. The climate is, is different, but let's get into some of the facts surrounding the auction house as it stands. All right, so to read it right off the rip, word for word, the auction house returns in NBA 2K25, my team where you can auction off or acquire cards using my team points to enhance your collection. New in NBA 2K25, the auction house menu has been consolidated into a one-stop shop for your searching, buying, and selling. No more exiting. Back to the My Team menus to retrieve your completed auctions or check on your bids. You can also search for a selected card directly from your auction menu so you can easily check MTP prices before listing your cards for sale. Need more space in your auction menu? If you need more space, like I told you, earning more My Team rep will increase your auction capacity, allowing you to get the most out of the auction house. Okay, so like I said, you get your My Team rep up high enough, you can get 10 extra spaces to auction off 10 extra cards at a time. Okay, now this is the part that we have to pay attention to. Like I was saying earlier, to ensure a level playing field, the returning auction house has a zero tolerance policy on activity detrimental to the health of the game mode. All transactions will go through a verification process to make sure the auction house stays fun and fair for everyone in the community. The love for the My Team auction house is clear and we are excited for its return. So that's that part I was talking about where you're going to have to watch. You're going to have to watch yourself. No funny activity, no suspicious movements. Don't make one move wrong because they will snatch your account. You will not be able to play My Team. I don't know if that will stop you from playing My Career on the same account. It might. I'm not sure. Don't quote me. Somebody that knows in the comment section, let me know. The thing that I'm more worried about is, okay, what if I post a gold card, a bronze card? What if I post a low tier card on the auction house and it organically gets bid up to a million or just a high number? Is Are you going to, are they going to be able to look at that transaction history and the bid history and see that it's not fraudulent or that I'm not buying MT or, I mean, I don't know. I guess they, they're going to have to have a scientific way to judge whether or not a transaction is faulty because I mean, okay, some people are, they're going to sell MT. The MT sellers are going to boot back up and try to sell this MT. They're going to make some money and people are going to get banned. That's just, that's just what I know. I mean, I'm 100%. I'm not going to say 100%. Okay. Cause I mean, it, I'm almost 100% sure that somebody's going to try to get their money off. Who who wouldn't? In this climate, who wouldn't? Somebody's going to try to make some money on the side. Somebody's going to, you know, they're going to try it. So I'm pretty sure that the sites will go back up. The sites will be back active. And we're going to report on that when we do get into NBA 2K25. So, I mean, I'm just, I'm just warning you, do not buy MT. If you're one of those people that was buying MT, you're going to waste your time. You're going to waste your money. You're going to waste your team. They're going to snatch your team. They're going to pack you up. They're going to roll you up in a pack and your team will be smoked. The sad part is they're going to pack up. Someone's going to get packed up. That's not even buying MT. That's the part that I, um, it's kind of sketchy. It's a, it's a double-edged sword. And I feel, I feel kind of weird coming out here into my team so I might be all the way no money spent this year. I mean, I, try, I just might go no money spent and try to spend the least amount of money as possible on my team just to make a challenge for myself to see if I can build the best team possible without spending any money. It just might be the challenge for me, especially with this auction house situation where we just might be able to be at risk of getting packed up for no reason. It's just crazy right now. Your booze mean nothing. I've seen what makes you cheer.